Hey, what is going on YouTube? My name is James and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be shooting a real quick video for you newbies out there, the people looking to get into collecting watches and you don't really know where to start. Oh my god, I about knocked the camera over. Good job. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere to start and you really don't know what to go with, you know, you, you're choosing between these quartz pieces that are really cheap or maybe you want to go automatic. Maybe you wanted to actually start your collection with an automatic piece that's vintage. And that's what I'm going to be covering today. How to get into watch collecting and start off with automatic and vintage. What you see right here is just three examples of perfect watches to really get started with. Um, there are many other options to choose from and I would have to say that an Orient 3 star would work perfectly in here. Now the kind of price range in, uh, we're looking at to start off with right here is around £50, like up to £50. Just to put it into perspective, I paid for this £12. That was many, many months ago. Um, I paid £12 for this beauty on eBay. Now this right here, what you're looking at is an Eagle 7. This is a Citizen Eagle 7. It uses the Miyota 8100, and these can be found anywhere between £20 and £50 usually. Now if they're in really good condition, like this one, with an unaltered dial, you've got to be careful of redials out there, and also on the original band, with the original clasp, everything about this is original. Original movement, everything. To find something like this for £12 is very, very lucky. If you can find it at that kind of price, pick it up immediately. I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Now, to show another option in terms of that sort of um, Eagle 7, what we're looking at right here is a Blue Dar one, uh, which also has this very um, different shaped case. Now, we're calling this the Mini Corum because it kind of looks like a Corum. Uh, this one is from 1990, so it's not exactly vintage in terms of vintage standards but you can obviously find eagle sevens dating all the way back to the 70s uh, which i would consider vintage this one also has the original clasp and it has the original band there is a generous amount of um of links in this one because this one's currently up for sale so if you are interested hit me up in the email link is down below um, it's in great condition though any vintage piece i would advise a service so this one can be found anywhere between i don't know once they start getting more unusual like this one they're almost always over 50 pounds but this is just showing you what else you can go with which is um really really great now to show you another one from another brand as i said orient uh orient three size another great option which is within this price range um this one right here is the seiko 5 this one also is an absolutely brilliant watch this one's from 1997 so again not exactly vintage but you get what i'm saying what i think i'll name this actually is great entry japanese automatic watches or something like that that's going to be what this title is going to be um, i'm shooting this video on the day and again edited and uploaded hopefully on the day as well so i'm in a bit of a rush i'm sorry guys been very busy with work you can see the time and date right there as of when i'm recording this so yeah well it says it on here as well <laughs> um, and this one is also a great option you know this one uses the 7s26 which is such a reliable movement but the older ones do use i think it's the 7009 I could be completely wrong right there, but also a great movement. And uh, again, you can get these dating back to the 70s. Same with the Orient 3 stars or crystals, depending on um, what you want to call them. Um, now, the thing that all these right here have in, in common are... One, they're all Japanese. They're all really, really great Japanese watches. Obviously, Citizen, Seiko, and Orient. The next thing they have is they're all reasonably priced. Anywhere between £20 and £50 you can usually pick these up for. The next thing these all have in common is they originally came on bracelets. Um, obviously, there are other alternatives. You know, you can get um, them on leather straps and everything, but a lot of them did come on original bracelets. Now, if you're a big fan of bracelets like I am, this is great news. This one is really, really comfortable, which is surprising. The more modern day nine, uh, the Seiko, more modern 19 say, what am I saying? The more modern Seiko 5s are very, very uncomfortable in the bracelet, whereas this one is really, really comfortable, which is surprising. And then obviously these uh, citizens are both on a really, really nice Jubilee bracelet, or what, in my opinion, is really, really nice. I love the Jubilee. It is my favorite bracelet. Now, that's one thing. You get a bracelet for such a cheap price with it. The next thing they all have in common is they all have a day-date feature, which is very, very useful. It's a great it's a great complication, which just has everyday use built in. Um, most of my watches will have a day-date feature. I think if you go watch my State of the Collection, I only have one watch, which is a pilot's watch, which doesn't even have a day or date. Everything else has a day-day complication and is also 
is uh, has the original bracelet, which I usually wear on them. Um, so for me, these watches just speak very, very, like, speak a lot to me. I am looking for an Orient uh, three-star or crystal uh, to join the collection because then I'll have all of them. I think I might go white dial just to, just to emphasize on these white dials. But yeah, they're definitely something to consider when you're looking at your next watch. Um, whether you're already a keen collector of watches and you've got many to choose from or you're just getting into it, these are great places to start. I started off with a 1977 Seiko 5 and later moved on to this 1987 Citizen Eagle 7. There's some great options out there, a variety to choose from. I'd say definitely give these a go. If you own one of these, let me know down in the comments and let me know what you think of them. And if you're going to get one, let me know as well. Like I said, this one is for sale, so if you are interested, get in contact with me. Um, but I'm sorry about how rushed this video must seem. I just have been really busy with work, and I am going to continue to be busy with work, so I'm going to do my best to bring you guys some content. Hopefully this didn't seem too bad, um, but I'll see you all again next time. Take care. Peace out.